Well, he is on the short list of the greatest featherweights of all time, but Max Holloway has goals beyond that. DC, you know he trains at 185, 190 pounds. Going to be very interesting to see how far Max Holloway can take this here in the UFC. He's one of the best, best featherweights of all time, Horatian, in his attention to detail. When he made his UFC debut, he had hiccups, but he went back to the lab and he fixed those things, and it showed in a massive 13 fight win streak that had him winning the featherweight championship and defending it on multiple occasions. Max Holloway is truly one of the best fighters in the entire organization. And what he did in that two fight series with Jose Aldo is something that history is gonna look back upon very fondly. Max blessed Holloway back in another big spot here tonight. Max blessed Holloway, Why and I represent one of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. Well, Brian T-City Ortega was 14-0 with a no contest when he ran into Max Holloway in his first UFC championship opportunity. That night didn't go his way, but a lot of people think he has all the skills and all the makeup to eventually get that belt around his waist. You don't lose, you get an opportunity to get better, and that's what Brian Ortega has to do after he lost that fight to Max Holloway. He will look to take those lessons learned in the octagon over the course of four and a half, five rounds, and apply them to his career as he goes forward. He has the skill, he has the heart, he has the ability, but now you just gotta put it all together if you wanna realize a UFC championship. And of course, if you hear the ladies screaming, that's because T-City has T -City taken his shirt off in the <laughs> inspection zone. Our tail of the day for this featherweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Plus Holloway. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Brian T. City Ortega. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go, two of the best featherweights in the world, Max Blessed Holloway, Brian T. City Ortega. First meeting, very close on paper, but Holloway said there are levels to this, and he got close. When we announce matchups, you can always say, wow, these guys are evenly matched, but it is not determined until they step into the octagon, and on that night, Max Holloway showed why he was the UFC featherweight champion and why Brian Ortega was just a step behind him. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the outfit. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Nice jab by Max Blessed Holloway. 48 total strikes have landed for Brian Ortega. Starting to do some. How are they standing? What a flying knee to the head. Well, that combination's gonna test his chin. Nicely done. Holloway's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, Ortega's boxing. Oh, back to the feet. Just 
over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Holloway's keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. Oh! The official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brian T. City Ortega. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.